South Africa's most populous city, Johannesburg, is a magnet for poor people from rural parts of the country and from across its borders. Most of the migrants live in derelict buildings or illegal slums without electricity. They're often forced to use open fires or simple stoves for cooking and heating. And they fuel them with anything that burns, including garbage, which creates a hazardous indoor air pollution problem. This geography professor is hoping to make combustion devices for impoverished city areas cleaner and safer. The problem of urban growth is happening much faster than we are able to provide services for the, uh, the population. So this is a major long-term problem for this growth area. Experiments show that even the arrangement of the fuel in a stove has a big influence on the emissions it produces. When the paper, wood and charcoal are placed so that they burn from top to bottom, as in the barrel on the right, a lot less smoke is produced. This slum kitchen is actually a laboratory. Here the environmental management researchers are testing fuel efficiency and emission levels for various stove designs. Sensors measure the gases produced by the combustion and determine the concentrations of toxic substances like carbon monoxide. The researchers also study the amounts and size of soot particles produced by burning twigs, wood pellets, coal or kerosene. This is a semi-improved There are different stove designs for each fuel. The scientists have obtained the most common types for testing in their lab. For every kind of fuel, they aim to develop a prototype that is environmentally benign, safe, and above all, cheap. On a global level, three billion people lack access to modern energy services. And of those, every year, two million people die prematurely as a result of mainly the smoke that comes off three stone fires, as well as some of the more basic stoves. Stoves like these often cause disastrous fires. If they tip over, the liquid fuel runs out. Built-in safety valves could prevent that. For many years, researchers have been trying to find the perfect design for this simple everyday appliance. There have been some successes, like this coal oven model. It's made of heat-storing ceramics and is constructed so that the hot air is well blended as it heats up. The result is smoother combustion with fewer dangerous emissions. Unless you understand the customs and the social dynamics and the aspirations of people, what type of products they would like to own, how would they would like to use them, what is their cooking tradition, um, you can design a perfect product which nobody wants to use. And so it is bringing together the science and the social aspects in a combination. What is very important is that we have Energy experts at the University of Stuttgart are also interested in the problem. They work closely with the researchers in Johannesburg. Germany provides the Energy project with funding and expertise. In the works is a laboratory for solar lamps. These remodeled mason jars could provide light to poor neighborhoods. The scientists want to test if the simple technology is robust enough. They've collected many other interesting objects from around Africa. Charges the light, and as you can see, multiple lights. Like this light source, which can be used as a flashlight or ceiling lamp, and even as a charging unit for mobile phones. <laughs> These are small steps that can bring enormous improvements to slum dwellers' lives. Clean and safe technology will become increasingly important for the fast-growing population. By the middle of this decade, Johannesburg could be part of a South African megacity and one of the 30 largest urban regions in the world.